Hi guys, welcome to the Eclectic Corner. My name is Nima Boa and today we're going to be reacting to Architectural Digest visiting Vinihala's home. We're going to be reacting to her interior, so it's going to be, be very different. And on this channel, you will mainly see fashion, but I want to incorporate interior as well. So I feel like this is a great way to introduce interior on my channel. So this is how we're going to be doing it. Hey D, I'm Winnie Harlow. Welcome to my home. Can we just talk about how beautiful she is? It looks absolutely stunning. Welcome to my living room. I worked with Martin Lawrence Bullard to I really create love the my entire room. home. It looks really spacious I really and wanted fresh. a really nice, calm space. Not too bright. We have the yes. pops of color coming up though, so don't worry. My whole life I lived in apartments and so it was a really big deal for oh, me yeah. to live in a space that I loved. And so when I saw this house, I really loved how much light was in the space. It was kind of a blank slate. And this is where I decided to go with it. It looks really the beautiful. The sheeps in here, I was kind of surprised I don't really get by the sheep, these but when they came really in. But I feel like it kind like of that. gives it a Garden of but Eden I love the gold type feel. The so we have it looks 1970s absolutely amazing. leaves that frame the fireplace beautifully. This is a drawing, actually by pencil. So even though it's me and I didn't really want too many pictures of me in my space, there were some things that were just absolutely incredible that I've been gifted over time. But I just didn't want it in center. It had to be like off center. So we had to zhuzh it up a bit. We have these beautiful sofas that I fell in love with. I feel like they're just so cozy, but also pieces of art. At night, when just these orbs are on, it just looks like you're gazing at the sky, and I love that. I really love the living room. It does really represent what she's saying about it, that it's bright, but it also has like elements of toning it down with, like, with the like pops of colors as well. And we have all these beautiful pieces, like the gold leaves, that makes it really beautiful. I don't really get the sheep, but... That's just my personal opinion and I do really love this picture of her. She has such beautiful skin that even though it's a picture of herself and it might feel a little bit cringe to her, I just feel like it's just beautiful um, art to have on the wall even though it's herself and it's also, as I said, it's pencil made so it's just a totally different uh, twist of a beautiful art display of her of herself as big trees at the corners it makes it she brings in the nature so it doesn't look too show showroomy if it makes can you say that showroomy and i really love the sofas as well in shape and it just makes the room a little bit more playful and fun and i don't really get the whole like white and gray curtains in the background I thought it was a little bit odd I would just love it to be like just one color and not a mix of two colors. Again, it's white and gray, so it's not like something that's irritating me that much because neutral colors that she has. Uh Welcome to my glam room. So this room has always been supposed to be a glam room, but it's kind of been used as storage before Martin came. I really always wanted a mirrored ceiling, but because we have earthquakes in California, we didn't feel it was super safe to put mirrors on the ceiling. And so the closest- Can we just, the outfit that she's wearing is so beautiful. And I love how she wore this really formal chic look showing up her home. And she really got the, she really understood that assignment that she's doing something for Architectural Digest and she wanted to show that she can also be... We have seen many hollows in her look. She can be a baddie, she can be dressed up really nice and she can also be very flirtatious with her style but I just really love seeing her in this more formal look with this beautiful statement belt as well and with the dress and her hair just tied back and just beautiful gold earrings. It's just a beautiful, simple, clean look and I just love that look while she's while she's showing off her house but let's go back to the video the thing that we kind of found was this reflective really pretty mirror and i feel like it makes the space bigger i also do glam so much so having a space that's open and clean <laughs> for once is really necessary for like that mindset that you have to be in before you do red carpet or you're going to set for a shoot because things get really really hectic we have, of course, my K-Skin Sun Care line. 
right here on the table. They get a lot of use because you need to wear SPF every day. Never skip your SPF. This is my cover wall. I am obsessed with this one. We shot this one, Vogue India. It was such a beautiful hot day and I'm an island girl, so I love to be in heat. And this kind of gave me like that Caribbean island vibe. Sometimes we get caught up in what's next, what's next and, you know, living through life fast paced, but being able to come and look at your accomplishments and be like, you know what? You should be proud is a really amazing feeling to have. I stumbled upon this piece of art that I was just so obsessed with. And I FaceTimed my boyfriend to tell him that I was gonna buy it and he bought it for me for my birthday. So that was really, really sweet of him. Um, so thank you, babe. Okay, so I don't, I don't have that much to say about the glam room and it's giving very much what she needed. And I do also, I've seen the wall with like, oh, where she just has images of her, um, of her covers that she has done. I've seen that before and it's, I think it comes from the Kardashians because I'm sure that Kim had that in, I'm not sh surprised by it. And also knowing her story and becoming a model, I feel like it's a great way to like, she can pat herself on the shoulders and like look at all her work while she's getting ready, you know, because she definitely has made it and she's like successful models. So I do love that as well. Um, other than that, I don't really have anything else to say about this glam room. It's quite simple. It's, it's all right. So this is my Clean. formal dining room. I have a lot of goddaughters and godsons and cousins and aunts and uncles. And I wanted it to be a space that was homey, but still airy and light. You could see a lot of the light fixtures that I have in my house are art pieces, kind of. You'll see my favorite one in the kitchen. I'm so excited about this. I keep giving little teasers. <laughs> this is a really interesting piece by Mattia Biaggi. He is an Italian artist and it is called a love totem. There's little things that just are hints of fun about the house, just so that it had a little bit of energy to it. So the dining room is quite simple. I do love her spin-offs trying to keep things uh, simple but still having these beautiful art pieces around the, the house and this dining room is a great example of that and I, I would also call it an art piece her lamp above the table is quite beautiful as well and I also like that she has like different kind of parts on the table just empty, empty parts but they have these funny shapes so it just makes it more intriguing and fun to look at and now when I think about it, maybe I'm not as bothered by the curtains because you can see like the mixture of white and gray and the different grays, gray tones throughout the house and especially with the chairs around the dining table. It kind of makes sense now. So I'm not, I'm not bothered by it. So what I said before, just ignore that. Um, but other than that, it's a really fun house. This is the powder room. I said earlier that I don't like lots of pictures of myself, but Martin did find this shoot I did for Zach Posen. It was a lookbook. I think I shot 30 looks that day. And when Martin found these pictures online of me, he was like, I need to make a wallpaper of this, but did come out incredible. And I kind of made them a size where you kind of have to look closely to notice that it is me. I look at it more as an art piece, which, Zach Posen really did that. And then we wanted to tie it together with this beautiful green mirror that kind of pulls the colors in and ties everything together. I like those little pops because like I said, island gal, I like color, I like carnival. I'm a quite big fan of the powder room. Not only in general, I really love American powder room because you guys really tend to make something really different out of that room. And even though, my, even though it might not align with the house, you you can always count on American powder rooms to have this vibrant or really moody theme and this powder room definitely has that and I really love that about this room and I really love the different images and how it's it's like um how it's just different images of her but different colors I just it just looks really really good and it's I don't find it cringe there's images of her because it's so well done and it's it just looks like a black and white tiling but just with different colors but with images of her it's the same kind of thing, just colorful, and, and I really love that. There's nothing, there's nothing bad to say about her home. There's really not anything to say. 
This is my family room. I spend so much time in this room. I actually sleep on this couch a lot. This was the one piece when Martin came in that I was like, you can change everything, but the couch got to stay. And I have so many friends and family come over and we just fall asleep on this couch watching movies. I also use this space for fittings. We have a really nice mirror right there to see how things fit and how they walk. Maybe some YouTube, like music videos and just have a good vibe in this space. We also have another one of these 1970s beautiful vintage trees. It's still a little Caribbean ting poking out. You see it. I like to have a lot of fun, so I wanted my bar to be a lot of fun. I wanted it to kind of be Studio 54 inspired, so we have a lot of inspo here. We have Queen Diana right here on the wall, and I just wanted it to be fun, but still moody and vibey with the space. We open a lot of wine in this room right here, whether that be for fittings, whether that be for chilling, watching basketball games on TV, all of the above. A lot of wine gets drunk in this house. So here's the family room, and it's kind of the same as the living room, but the same theme, but just different furnitures, and I really love that as well. There's not that much to say. I do love the golden tree in the corner. A beautiful statement piece and as she said it gives a little bit of that Car Caribbean vibes to her home she's an island girl so I definitely see that as well and I definitely love the big couches at the fireplace couches chairs I don't know what you really call them but it just and even though they're, they're quite big it just gives that more of a relaxed feel compared to the living room and the fireplace looks amazing I would have liked maybe like the framing of the fireplace to be like black or something else just so we could have like that black statement piece as we do at the bar so we've been a little bit throughout the room but other than that I really love that and the bar I mean who wouldn't wish to have a bar like that it's really amazing and I love the black marble and I love the black and white but also gold elements in the bar as well so really beautiful and the iconic pictures I'm definitely gonna have that as well in my house Probably not the same people, but um, people in the same entertainment business as well that I love. Just love this house very much. And now seeing the curtains being like just tall grey curtains, I do really like and I feel like it's kind of refreshing that he ha she has like the more, she has like the white and grey curtains in the living room and the dining room as well. I find that more refreshing now when I see it here in the family room. <laughs> This is the kitchen. I know a lot of people say this is where the magic happens when they get upstairs to the bedroom, but this is really where the magic happens. I love donuts and I love cake and I love actually to bake. I make a really amazing pumpkin pie that my family loves. So this kitchen usually gets used for me when it comes to baking. I wanted it to be black and white and really focus on the light fixture. This light fixture is actually called the Harlow, coincidentally. It is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It looks like little gemstones. I saw this light fixture and I was like, this is something I need in my house. So these little canisters hold tea in them. And actually this tea right here, these are ginger honey crystals. And my mom and my grandparents drink this all the time. My whole life I've been drinking this. And so I had to have it in my household as well. This art piece I got in Hawaii. We were on vacation and I just loved it so much. I actually got Kyle an art piece commissioned that was in the same color scheme. It's so whenever we decide to move in together, these two will definitely be in the same space. So the kitchen is quite minimal and then I love that. And I do love how she keeps picking these pictures out for her different rooms that I have these different sculptural design that ha makes it ha be more of an art piece. One thing I will say about this kitchen that I really love that she doesn't have that much on display and I just hate when kitchens do has too much on the counters and too much on display and she really keeps it minimal and she even has her things in glass and preservatives. What do you call those things? She has them in glass which makes it more simple and yeah I just love that. 
I do think that the cupboard with the black um, squares, I feel like it's a little bit too heavy. I would just love that when maybe she has something different. And maybe she has like a pattern with some white in the black because the black squares makes it a little bit too heavy for my liking. But other than that, it's a beautiful kitchen, stunning kitchen. I absolutely love this art piece at the kitchen. The colors like that Turkish blue and the gold together. It's a fun piece. Oh my god, her bedroom. Oh my god. Wait. Welcome to the bedroom. Pause. Do people actually sit in front of the bed? I always wondered that because a lot of people when they do like these big renovations they have these like seating areas in front of the bed and what's the point of having it in front of your bed in your bedroom? I would rather just lay in my bed. That's one thing I never really got. But it's beautiful. I mean all white but different fabrics and textures which makes the room come to life. That's what This bedroom makes me feel so at peace when I come home. It's so calming. It's giving 1930s Hollywood movie star. I definitely see the reference to the cloudy room. It's, it definitely gives off that. And you can see it by the textures of the things she has, and she has in the room. It's very cloudy and it's very soft. You just feel comfortable and that's how you should have your bedroom definitely somewhere you want to lay and chill and relax this is my bathroom i travel a lot and so i tend to get sick and when i get sick i like to be like in steam and put some epsom salt in the bath and soak although i don't often get a lot of time to take baths when i do it's my favorite thing to do we mirrored this tub area which i'm really obsessed about because it's really cute for like picture moments or just you know making sure that my hair is not getting wet in the tub <laughs> i can check real quick like mm, tuck that back into my shower cap okay so i do love the bathroom it's it's a little bit more flat compared to the whole house especially the powder room the powder room has was such had such personality i felt like it was being a little bit too quick or lazy with this room but it's an all right room uh, it's an all right bathroom I don't really get the mirroring around the best type, even though she says she can like look and make sure that her hair is not out, but I don't really get that. It makes it look a little bit cheap. She has fun pieces as well and art pieces in her bathroom. And I absolutely love marble, so I do love that her shower room has marble. I know a lot of people are getting tired of marble, which I don't get. I absolutely love that. I'd rather have marble around the bathtub than the mirrors, but that's just my opinion. This is one of my three closets. I use this one kind of for more winter stuff, but I have a lot of shoes and jackets. Again, with this light fixture being the sunlight of the house. So I really love this one, especially because I am a sun sign being a Leo. I really am a colorful girl. I love to wear color, but I wanted my house to be somewhere that was relaxing to come home to. But in this space, you can see my wardrobe is very loud, very fuzzy and glowy and colorful. Okay, so her work-in closet, I didn't like her work-in closet. Clearly you can see she has a lot of clothes and there's not enough space in that room for that. And I would definitely have had more of being as small as it is and she has so much clothes i would definitely just use the whole room and just made it into one big cabinet throughout the whole wall even above the windows on the side of the windows underneath the windows like just frame it all in this cabinet and then i would probably have like just a little a tiny opening of glass in the middle just so you can like see what's in that cabinet so you can like so you know what the different stuff is but not have everything on full display because it looks very overwhelming it's like just a lot of clothes and then a lot of fabrics and textures and I personally even though I love fashion I get really tired of looking at my clothes I even have this here right now but this this is just temporary because I'm moving so I don't need to invest in furniture and stuff like that 
but that's the only thing I have to say about this room but again she has this beautiful fixture <laughs> Well, that's it, AD. Thank you so much for coming. This has been a dream of mine. I'm about to go crack open a bottle of wine, so I'll see you later. <laughs> My home is absolutely beautiful. It's definitely way much black and white with different gray tones and then has different pieces of gold, the fixtures, the, the golden trees, some cabinets, small cabinets was also gold with mirrors on it. So I definitely love that theme. It's very much something I would have myself. I think I'll have more brown items in there. I'm more, I love to bring in nature more now. I don't want that whole black and white theme in my house. Like, oh my God, I don't even live in a house. I don't have a house. I don't love as much black and white, but a very interesting room. I would definitely say that her powder room was definitely one of my favorites. And then her living room was also my favorite, her bedroom. I'm not really a big fan of the bathroom that she has upstairs next to her to her bedroom. I, I just felt like they didn't give it, they were lacking a little bit with their creativity with that room because all the different rooms had such a well thought out theme that went throughout the house. I felt like it was lacking in that room. And also her closet was my least favorite. It was just too cluttered. It, she definitely needed just to plaster that whole room with cabinets that's the only thing i have to say just beautiful home for sure i would love to see the outside of the house that's why i feel like architecture that just kind of lags sometimes with these interiors like just to see the house outside so we can see like oh the outside looks like this and then the inside is um, but other than that it's a beautiful home she's a beautiful woman and i definitely love the the house for sure so yeah i hope you guys like this video like subscribe and maybe i'll see you in my next video bye